cleaning and maintaining desk fan. Reminders, turn off and unplug the electric fan before cleaning. Wear your personal protective equipment. Girls should tie their long hair. Remove all your accessories. Tools, screwdriver, materials, motor oil, paintbrush, and rag. PPE, apron, goggles, mask, and gloves. Here are the steps to disassemble the upper part of the electric fan. 1. Remove front guard. If your front guard has a screw, use a screwdriver to open it. See that it is locked in place by a fan blade nut where the direction to loosen or to tighten is written. Step 2. Remove the fan blade nut and the fan blade. You will see a guard nut that holds the rear guard in place. Notice again the direction where you will turn the knot to loosen it. Step 3. Remove the guard nut and the rear guard. Now it's time to clean the blade knot, guard nut, rear guard, and the front guard with a rag. You may use a paintbrush for hard to reach areas. The apron, goggles, and mask that you wear play a very important role to protect yourself from the dust. You may wash and dry the parts that are made of plastic. We avoid wetting the front and rear guard so that it does not develop rust. But if the brush and rag can't handle the dirt, wash it and dry it well. It is also important to remove the guard mark on the front guard to clean the dirt well. Always remember to keep all the parts well, especially the small parts. Wipe the alternating current cord and the button. Disassembling the base. For a desk fan, the base is where the switch wiring is placed. Step 1. Loosen the screws and remove the cover. Use the right size of the screwdriver for the screws. Keep the screws well and separate them from other removed screws. Now that the base is open, do the step 2. Use a paintbrush to clean the cobwebs and other dirt. Check for loose solder joints on the switch assembly. If there are cold solder, you'll need to solder them. Make sure that you're already trained to solder. Step 3. Clean the base cover using rag and paintbrush. Written on the base cover is a switch wiring diagram. You will also see a sticker of the electric fan model and its specifications. Steps to assemble the base. Step 1. Find the proper orientation of the cover. Step 2. Attach the base cover. Step 3. Fasten the screws. It is a good practice to assemble the base first before disassembling other parts with screws for beginners. Disassembling the motor housing. Step 1. Remove the screws and keep them well. Usually screws are loosened if turned counterclockwise and tightened if turned clockwise. Remember to use the right size of the screwdriver for the screws. Step 2. Remove the front motor cover. Step 3. Remove the oscillator knob and the back motor cover. Some oscillator knobs are tightened by screws. Try to check if there is a screw inside the knob before removing it. To remove the back motor cover, use a screwdriver. Now it's time for step 4. Clean the motor with a paintbrush. Be careful with the electrical part.
Step 5. Apply few drops of water oil along the rotor and wipe off the excess. Be careful not to drop any oil on the electrical parts. Assembling the upper part of the electric fan Step 1. Align the holes of the back motor cover along with the holes on the motor. Step 2. Place and tighten the screw. Step 3. Put back the oscillator knob. Use a screwdriver for knob with screw. Step 4. Return the front motor cover and tighten the screws. Step 5. Attach the rear guard and tighten the screws. Follow the proper orientation of the rear guard to the motor housing. Step 6. Fasten the guard knot. Read what's written on it and turn the guard knot to the direction to tighten. Make sure that the rear guard is tight enough, not too tight nor too loose. Step 7. Attach the fan bleed. For other models of electric fan, some holes of the bleed is not circled. Half of it is straight and the other half is curved. Just follow the shape of the rotor when attaching the blade. Step 8. Fasten the fan blade knot. Again, read what's written on it. Turn it to the direction to tighten. Step 9. Attach the guard mark and lock the front guard. Notice the proper orientation of the guard mark when placed on the front guard. And finally, it's time to clean the work area and return the tools.